Hi everyone and welcome to this episode of Kuiper Labs. In today's video we're going to be introducing the concepts of chemical equations. That is the language and the way that chemists represent chemical change um, on paper. Okay, so we've, we've talked about this idea that chemical change involves um, the formation of new substances and that the way that that happens is by rearranging atoms. Okay, this is how we can distinguish chemical and physical change. So we're rearranging atoms into new combinations to make new substances. And so, but the reality is that, that we want a really simple shorthand way to be able to capture what that rearrangement looks like during chemical change. And so we use a chemical equation. Okay, now one thing that I want you to be aware of is that this is not like a maths equation like you might be more familiar with. Okay, you will never see an equal sign. Okay, that's not how chemical equations work. All right, so if you just wrote down that equal sign and then you crossed it out and, and it makes you frustrated, I'm sorry, but get over it. Um, so when we have a chemical equation, we're representing the changing process. We're going from before to after. Okay, so there's a couple of things that we're going to see in your typical chemical equation. Okay, the first thing is, that the substance we, we give a name to the different substances that are in, we would be writing in a chemical equation, so that the substances that react together are known as reactants. Okay, now there could be one reactant, there could be five reactants, or more or less, um, but if they are the substances that are coming together to to react together to to make the change, they are considered a reactant, um, and then the substances that are made, the new substances are known as products. Okay, so we always go, when we're looking at a chemical equation, reactants are always on the left and products are always on the right. Okay, and we use an arrow. Okay, I told you that we'd never see an equal sign because for us as chemists that the arrow is what signifies the fact that we have changed. Okay, because the thing to remember here is that a chemical equation or a chemical reaction involves changing from substances that were there to new substances that have been made and so it represents a process, it represents a process. So that is, that's why we're talking about before and after before and after this changing process. Okay, so, <clears throat> all right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna write out a, a word, kind of word, a verbal description of a chemical reaction. Okay, so carbon as soot reacts with oxygen gas in the air to form carbon dioxide. Okay, so it's a written description of a process of change that has happened. However, if Chemists always had to write these processes using statements like this. It gets very time consuming and tedious. And so we can represent it with our chemical equation. So we can think about our reactants. So in this case, we've got carbon and oxygen, are things, the things that are reacting together to form our product, which is carbon dioxide. So we've got reactants on the left and products on the right with an arrow in between. So I'm going to write carbon reacts with oxygen. So I'm going to write plus oxygen to form or become carbon dioxide. Okay, so this is our word, what we would call a word equation to show what this what is happening in this process. Carbon plus oxygen becomes carbon dioxide. Now, the reason that I don't have an equal sign here is I'm showing that this is what was there at the start, this is what's there at the end, that we don't have all of these things in the container at the same time. Okay, that we're saying that these became that. All right, let me show you another example. Okay, so here we go. Copper carbonate breaks down when heated to form copper oxide and carbon dioxide. Okay, so same sort of thing here. We need to identify what are our reactants, what are our products. So our reactant is copper carbonate. So I'm going to write that on the left of my left hand side of my equation. And then I'm going to draw an arrow. 
because I can identify that this is, in looking at my statement, this is the only reactant that I have. Um, and so then I have, when heated to, and I'm forming two products, copper oxide and carbon dioxide. So I'm going to write those down over on the right hand side. Now, just for space reasons, I'm just going to write them like this. Okay, not for any other reason than that. Okay, so I have reactant forming products. This becomes those. Okay, so the, the atoms are rearranging, the atoms in this are rearranging to become these two new substances. Okay, one of the things that we will look at um, in the next few videos is how we can then take this another step further and take it from a word equation to a, using chemical formulae and chemical symbols to show what's going on. All right, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.